The Rebreather makes a return in Sons of the Forest, but where is it and how do you get it? Well, I'm going to show you the location at least in peaceful mode, and I'll leave it up to you to fight all the mutants when I show you the cave. First things first, you remember you spawn at different locations when you play the game, but one thing to note is you need to make sure you've got the three purple icons to the north on your screen. If you spawn either in the snow or just slightly more north, just across the river that's directly underneath the mountain, then you're actually going to have to go more northeast to go towards where the cave is, where the rebreather is. One of the locations that you spawn is in fact on the beach right outside the cave entrance to where you get the rebreather. You spawn here, you'll see the purple markers over to the west hand side when you're looking out to sea. So if you turn around and look back towards inland, you should see two purple markers again to the east and one more towards the northwest. You'll break the boards and this will be the start of the caves. There'll be a small start area where you can pick up some supplies. The Sunset Times news article is what you should find here to keep you on track. Then you just need to keep heading forwards. You'll go through some pretty tight alcoves and cave-like structures so you get to a larger chamber with a light glowing. So I'm going to try not to cut or edit it too much here. I'll keep going along and bear in mind you might have to deal with a bunch of creepies and mutants in here and you just keep pollying with the stag lights on either side so you can see another glow. Here you should find an inflatable and you'll see the light with another dead body. Keep to the right and head down past these stag lights and again focus on going towards the light you can see in the distance. You'll find some bones and a few bits more of loot. Don't go up to the right hand side where the light's directly shining. Instead take this route here where it's pretty dark and you come across some life jackets and some shallow water. Keep following it all the way down and there's not really any other way you can go and you'll come into another larger chamber. This is where it might get even more confusing. Pretty much on the left hand side you should eventually come to a small little entranceway. You'll have to crawl to go through and then this will open up into the chamber where you find the shark and the rebreather. So make sure you fully explore the area. There's a few extra little higher places that you can go up here too. And I imagine there's plenty of enemies. You should find the rebreather suit on the edge and you should see a couple cans and some more resources to grab as well. Just like the original it should auto equip when you dive into the water for the first time. And then it's up to you. You can either exit the way that you can, or you can either distract the shark by throwing a few legs or arms, and hopefully this will keep him away from you so you can jump in the wall. Now it takes a while for the shark to actually notice some of them sometimes, but he will suddenly lunge for them. So throw him more to the left hand side towards the way that you came in, and you can jump in the water and dive down. I would go all the way down to the bottom and focus by staying with a wall on the left to eventually you come to a small entrance way. And this will take you out into the open ocean and you're not too far off the coast where either you spawned or you trekked all the way across the map from one of the other places. So there you go, that's how you get the rebreather at the moment in peaceful mode in Sons of the Forest. Of course I'll be doing much better guides showing how to get through when there's actual enemies in there. You can check me doing that on my live streams on my other channel JadePG100 Days. Go and subscribe right now to see me streaming every day from Sunday till Thursday, 2pm till 6pm UK time. Until next time, wrap bags, later.